Hello, Slots Enthusiast. It's great that you're here, but why are you here? Most, most likely you're here because you've heard about or watched my video on the five spin method to winning at slots, uh, along with nearly half a million others. Just between you and me, that winning slots method is my most popular strategy, but it isn't the only one I have. I don't even consider it the best one I have. Uh, there's another strategy, which the YouTube algorithm hasn't selected as my most popular. Maybe my five spin method videos are better articulated. Maybe I chose different words, better words, and my presentation was better. Uh, for some reason, maybe that's why it made it more popular. Or maybe it's because it was called you know, strategy one, number one. Uh, or maybe, um, you know, it has a better thumbnail for whatever reasons, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you've seen it, enjoyed it and gotten great use out of that popular, my popular five spin method for winning at slots. When I drove back, uh, when I dove back into, when I dove back into slots, um, uh, to test my ideas, uh, a few years ago, uh, when returned to um, a part of the country where I had access to casinos, there were two strategies I found most useful at Cincinnati's two casinos. Yes, one of them was my five spin method. Just in case you haven't seen my latest, most succinct, best videos on the strategy, uh, you'll find a link to its three video playlist in the video description of this live stream. But there was a second strategy, which I used to win about half my 90 hand pays in nine months before winning a car uh, at the end of that uh, nine months and uh, turning my attention to, afterward to writing my slots book and eventually starting my professor slots business. Before being bought recently by Boyd Gaming, Belterra Park outside of Cincinnati had the five spin method, which I learned by watching other slots enthusiasts. That's right. I didn't invent it, although I have explained it, created an easy test method to see if your casino has it, determined how common it is at casinos, one and four, and even maybe not the strip, uh, have uh, being one in four, that seems to be like all of them. <laughs> but uh, California, one in four, other parts of the country, one in four casinos have the five spin method. Um, and I even improved on what I saw uh, others doing um, at Belterra Park when it was just, you know, such a high return so soon after the casino opened after just rebuilding. Um, they moved the it has a racetrack. They moved the racetrack down the road a little bit to uh, so, because they were constantly being flooded by the Ohio River. Um, so, you know, major re uh, renovation. Um, but if you, you know, all that information is available in the playlist I mentioned. Um, sometimes I'll offhand mention my five spin method, assuming everybody is, has seen it and there's plenty who have not. But if you if you want to ask, if you're, if you're here live and you want to ask in the live chat um, about it, I'll be happy to give you a primer, I guess. Uh, but um, for the details, and these details can matter, uh, you know, it, that playlist is in the video description. So uh, before, uh, but before I did all that, uh, before I got the 90 hand pays in nine months and then won a car for which I took the cash option, I earned over 50 hand pays at Cincinnati's downtown casino, not, not Belterra Park, but the one instead the one downtown. It's had three owners now, uh, and just had a um, the celebration two weeks ago, one week ago, something like that, uh, for being a, uh, a hard rock now. Um, in between and then there was a Jack for a little while, uh, and then before that was Horseshoe, uh, a Caesar's property. But we'll talk about that because that that'll matter. Um, but. Uh, during my nine months of learning a lot of what I put into the book, uh, Learning to Win, available on Amazon, I, I, I um, audio book and uh, ebook and uh, uh, hardcover, softcover. But in the middle of all that, I had won over 50 hand pays in Cincinnati's downtown casinos, 54 hand pays in six weeks, by the way. And also six weeks to get seven stars players club status. 
the top tier that kind of people talk about. I, I, I guess I uh, handed it uh, my my card to um, someone at Bobby's Burgers or something. There was a a, a hamburger joint. Um, and they dropped it on the floor accidentally, and they're like, "Oh, I dropped a seven stars <laughs> card." And I was like, "Really? Is, are, are you going to be okay?" <laughs> um, and that's when I started getting a clue uh, what some of these comps and some of these statuses uh, uh, can result in. Um, you know, really started out as being naive, and I've learned a lot since then. So, anyway, all that is in that. Um, so. So um, I got to seven stars player status in six weeks. Um, I hope that this fantastic gameplay impresses upon you the value of the only strategy I was using to achieve that kind of result. Oh, yes, I, I did make a profit. I was still learning and testing other ideas I had had, but my profit was 30% over my bankroll. Since I kept great records, my analysis and notes and and more uh more than i needed for the, the irs the more that the irs asked for but rather additional columns for timing and 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 other things about the jackpots that i won and why i was there and what i was seeing as far as this this machine or that machine ba cycling my bankroll these these notes uh, uh these spreadsheets what which i offer but um yes my profit was 30% over my bankroll, but because of that analysis that I was able to make, I realized it would have been 50% profit over bankroll if I hadn't been spending so much time exploring my ideas. Once you've isolated what works at a casino because of the way they run their business, what you've figured out, profit can exceed 50% of your bankroll because you haven't, because you, you've you eliminated the strategies that don't work at that casino. And all that winning, hopefully, and this is one of the other things I talk about in the course, um, uh, all that winning will hopefully get you enough essential practice that you need to be able to learn how to leave the casino with your winnings. That's something that you know, you may have played a lot of slots and you may have won occasionally, but when you start winning more, you start having to focus on being able to get out with the money. Everybody can go to the casino and spend everything they brought. Um, and if they win anything, they can spend that too. And that's, that's a shame uh, when they actually want to, when you might want to leave. So that's something I help you with in my online course for slots enthusiasts, 30 days to play slots smarter and win, which I'll mention in a moment before coming back to the second valuable winning slot strategies. And we have a few donations. So let's uh, bring those in. And our first is... Um, wow, there is, um, um, I apologize for the, the, um, uh, good Lord. What is that? Um, we have a hacker, uh, not a hacker, uh, a scammer, um, and they're now all been removed, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit unusual. I, I don't usually get somebody um, promoting 18 plus channels. <laughs> I don't mean like gambling. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, we have uh, Magpie who has, um, I, I get stunned by uh, things that have never happened before. Um, uh, so thank you so much, Magpie11, for your uh, super chat, uh, who says, good morning, winner. <laughs> I think she's talking to you. <laughs> I, I know she's talking about me, but she's talking uh, to all of us. Um, and also, I want to thank Chuck uh, for his donation. Um, uh, again, um, thank you to both Magpie11 and Chuck. Uh, he says, good morning, all. Uh, for your donation. It helps uh, keep us moving forward. Uh, do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, uh, and um, uh, let's see if there's any um, <laughs> legitimate comments. Um, just, uh, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, 
this uh, person jumped into the live chat and spread all these many, many messages as though one of them wouldn't have done the trick. Apparently doesn't realize that I don't leave the live chat available later. And um, it's just like a bad business idea. And now they are gone. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> um, going through some of the comments, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are pretty personal. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, not terribly personal. It's just uh, chatting amongst friends, um, uh, people moving in, uh, uh, this year and hasn't happened, and others moving uh, a few places. So we're all becoming very friendly in the in the live chat. If you're not here live, if you're watching this recording later, um, you know, if you can't, come to our Saturday at noon Eastern time. Uh, live stream, and you'll you'll be able to see this uh, live chat and and meet some of these folks. We have someone we have uh, Vivin uh, from <laughs> who says they're a big fan of mine, uh, and that they're in Australia, uh, which is you know welcome uh, uh, to you. Uh, Jan from Texas is here. Chuck from Missouri. Um, Heather says, good morning, professor. I leave for my next slot strip in one day. Excited to hear your latest wisdom. Thank you, Heather. Um, and, uh, hey, Jojo. Hi, Jojo. Jojo's here. Um, uh, regulars, that's awesome. Uh, hope that I'm doing well. Yep. Uh, whatever that thing was, it's gone now. So, um, <laughs> now it's just, now it's just, and you made it wonderful. Um, uh, and, um, yeah, things are going well. It's just stress at this point. Little Heifer Gaming. <laughs> Thank you for telling me last weekend how to properly pronounce your middle name. <laughs> um, and there's Collins Gang. Uh, likes watching me. Never gambled in my life. Just like watching you and your cats. <laughs> or a party. Uh, the cats have been renamed Saboteurs. Saboteur number one. Saboteur number two. Two, which I don't see right now, which I told you stress levels are sometimes a problem, right? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, but they're multiplied when they're together. Uh, uh, Blitz Creek, uh, Blitz So Click um, is uh, just started gambling a week ago. Uh, and Collins, um, and good luck with that. Uh, take it easy. Um, uh, Collins Gang, serious question with the economy and whole. Metaverse clutter, your opinion on future of casinos. Thanks, John. Um, it's gambling. We will always have gambling. Kind of like the um, person who, or company or robot that jumped in with all of that um, uh, webcam offers <laughs> for a second there. Uh, you know, that's another thing that we'll always have. Uh, so um, gambling will always be there. Also, um, if you start looking at some of the numbers for the states, uh, as far as uh, income taxes for the state from the casinos in that state, they're paying for a whole lot of things uh, that otherwise would not get funded. And if you talk about tribal casinos, it's sometimes it's the primary business of a tribe. And so this is people's income, the, the, the number of... If we got rid of uh, casinos, which has happened before, I mean, I, I'm not talking about being shut down for two months due to the pandemic. I'm talking about um, prohibition, American pr prohibition, 1930s, early 1930s. Um, you know, that all that was part of the not drinking was to take the slot machines, um, Liberty Bell and the antiques that where you would. If, you know, have fruit outcomes and, and maybe you would get uh, one of the things they tried to do to prevent it from being hidden uh, in speakeasies, these machines, was to have the outcome not be money, but a rather um, fruit flavored gum. And so this is where our term for slot machines came from. We have vending machines and that's kind of the workaround. But then, you know, prohibition happened and they went into the speakeasies, the, the machines, and that is the golden age of slots because there was so many speakeasies and so many machines. It just went global because of that. So it was a big boom time. So even though, and my point here is that if we have a limitation, it could end up being another time of expansion for slots. 
but I don't, um, given the amount of money we're talking about, uh, $1.8 billion in revenue for a mid mid-sized Indiana casino monthly with the profit being, well, since they have a 90% return, um, let me put that away. Uh, since they have a 90% return, then they make uh, $180 million in profit. I mean, before paying bills and other things, but $180 million per month for one mid-sized casino in Indiana. That's a lot of money and a lot of people working and salaries and whatnot. So I don't mean to go on about that, but it's a good question. Um, I think, uh, you know, you can have where the society turns from gaming turns away from gambling and says no for you know um for various reasons having to do with morals and if that were to happen um well i just don't see it i see i see we're getting online gaming in so many states and so many more coming and uh, sports betting you know not, basically i don't have anything useful to say about online uh gaming except that if it comes to your casino um your state then it's great for like a month as a month or a year depending and as they establish themselves and try to get you hooked but then you have to remember to stop once they turn on you uh, but that is a short winning strategy but the, the it's more important to remember to stop <laughs> um uh, because it's not luck it's because they're trying to establish themselves and get you hooked okay um uh other questions uh Hello, Haley, crocodile, free sheet, sheet music. Uh, uh, I, uh, no worries. Uh, come, come and go as you need to, um, uh, Haley. Uh, uh, I hope that you are well. Um, let's see. Um, so uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. X L L L X. Is that a year? Uh, frenzy uh was watching someone play huff and puff uh from 5 to 6 a.m was getting bonuses every 25 to, to 50 spins between them what method would this be as was morning uh also was morning so you were watching somebody play at a casino it was 5 to 6 a.m that would be um uh was it did you say morning after so there's the morning after a big event and there's a morning after a uh holiday sometimes even uh, and by the way um happy veterans day everybody uh and if you served thank you for your service um but that would be strategy five right four is about morning after promotions and five is a morning after uh, holidays we should talk about that because in two weeks uh, i should talk about that next weekend because uh then that thursday a few days later is Thanksgiving, uh, and then we'll meet again on Saturday, two weeks from today, and it will be over. Uh, so we should talk about that and the upcoming uh, Christmas and New Year's, uh, uh, which are going to fall on a Saturday. So we won't be meeting on Christmas Day or New Year's Day, uh, but that's a month away or more. Uh, so yeah, uh, my strategy for uh, for we could talk about that sometime. I, I certainly have. Uh, yeah, um, I got it, Paul. I, I uh, no worries. Um, Florida slot couple. Hi from Florida. Hello back to you. Um, let's see. <laughs> yes, that's right, Paula. Um, practice, practice, practice. It's like winning. <laughs> if you haven't done it in a while, it can be a bit surprising. Uh, I, I, I learned my lesson. I, I, I afterwards it seemed to work better uh, after I won uh, my largest uh, jackpot, not including the forty k for the car uh, cash option, but the twenty seven thousand dollars I won on a ten dollar denomination machine for two credits, I think it was, uh, and I did not leave <laughs> with that amount minus taxes um uh, uh because it was too it was more than i was used to uh right good morning from washington hey gary um uh matt is in northern california uh and uh, <laughs> um hey matt if you if if it works it works if you don't use your player's card and you start winning uh great maybe you did something else uh there 
if you're in a tribal casino, there are some things that might happen. Uh, but uh, like, for instance, if you're in Kentucky and HHR machines are based on paramutual racing, horse, horse racing or, or dog racing, but there it's horse racing. Um, and uh, it's really obvious when you use your card there. Uh, you know, I, I, I've done it and just like, yeah, but it's not slot machines. It's not gaming regs for slot machines or, you know, what if you're in Washington, what you have there for for um, a scratch virtual scratch ticket system that they have there for their class three machines. Uh, and it can happen. Uh, but for, you know, Caesars or others, it's just so far out of bounds. Um, you know, if you don't have a gaming regulation that says that's wrong, then it, that's illegal, then it's not illegal. And so you get some of these um, less than thorough uh, um, uh, tribal compacts, tribal gaming compacts, or states where they didn't expect to get electronic gaming machines, but they have, and it's based on horses racing uh, historically. That is all, um, you know, loopholes that might be covered. Also gets people pretty upset. Um, and we have... And we have Marianne. Uh, hi, Marianne. Uh, thank you for the donation. Very much appreciated. Um, she says, thanks for the awesome content. I learn something every time I watch. That's that's great. Um, for those of you who are watching later, this is a community event. Uh, and it's an hour long. And it's a lot of fun if you're here. But if you're watching it later, it's not a lot of fun. So it, it, I, I do these live streams for my current audience to say hello and hear their stories and wish them well and share that with others um, who are friends with each other here. Um, but the eight minute and the four minute long videos are for the people who haven't met me before and are still sort of being welcomed in. So I, I community, if it seems like it's a little bit long and it seems like I'm going on, uh, it's quite a different experience if you've been here a few times and you're part of the event. Um, so. I don't know why I need to explain that. It's just uh, apparently there's not a lot of live streams out there for people to get used to it. Um, yeah, you could have said all this in four minutes. I could have and would have not said hello to anybody. <laughs> and, and so I do do that. Okay, um, no reason for me to explain how YouTube works. Um, and Patricia is going to Vegas and Arizona uh, and New Mexico in two weeks. Uh, watch out for Vegas on the weekends. Uh, I have an article on that, professorslots.com slash loss-visit, Vegas-visit, loss-Vegas-visit. And if that's my uh, website article, I don't have a video on it yet. Um, uh, uh, that, that will help you understand that the weekends are not... Uh, good in Las Vegas because they reduce the odds. Uh, and um, but and I've talked about that a few times. Let's see. Um, and people are chatting. That's great. Uh, yes, a lot of people are going um, traveling out for, for Thanksgiving. Um, uh, looking forward to having that topic next weekend to make it right up in uh, uh, nearby. Uh, Kashada, uh, Patricia Kashada, you should talk to Jan. Uh, Jan and I went, um, sorry, uh, Texas Tootsie. Oh, she, I see a comment from there. Um, uh, there, if you are at Kashada and there's two entrances to the high limit room, I don't know if you play high limit slots or not, there's kind of like a wide entrance and there's a slot machine that's there, but it, you, it's visible from a distance. But there's even a smaller ramp where you can only see two slot machines on that entrance into the high limit room, but it points towards all the table games out on the casino floor. So any win there uh, is visible from a distance. And and that is not unrelated to what we'll be talking about today in my topic, but um, that's, I, I pointed out to Jan, we were walking around the casino um, uh, and, uh, and I saw a fan, a fan ran up to me and said, are you Professor Slots? And I was like, I've met you. I, um, uh, uh, that was awesome, but first time. But if uh, we were walking around, Jen and I, and, and doing what I often recommend um, in various places, and some of which I'll show you this time, and I've talked about in the past, where uh, I said, that's candidate slot machine. Those two are candidate slot machines. And then, but we got to finish our walk around and do our observations. And, and um, that, that's 
mostly what next weekend's topics uh, is planned. Uh, sometimes, every once in a while, look up from the slot machine. Turn your head around. Go for a walk. It's part, partly it's healthy, but partly you'll see what's going on. Um, and we can we'll talk more about that next week and how that how valuable that can be for you learning how to win at your casino because that matters. But um, Dan and I came back to check out that high limit room and somebody was sitting there with a hand pay. <laughs> and I don't recall there being a lot of hand pays. It's just the one I said, oh, that one or that one. And we came back later and yeah, yeah. So uh, if you're at Kashada, you might try that small entrance to the high limit room, the machine that was against the wall in the end. Uh, if you care to play high limits, uh, otherwise don't worry about it. Whew. Uh, Mary, Mary uh, imp, it, here, you said this like a minute ago, right? Uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. Um, and uh, Mary Ann says, and I just said it, uh, implementing the stop, look around, listen, plus the five spin method really helped change my gaming. Um, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, congratulations, Haley. Uh, um, do, 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 do. A lot of comments today. This is wonderful. I don't want to take too much more time here. Uh, if Jay, if you have answers to winning, why don't you do gambling live streams? Uh, simple answer, Jay. It's about finding the slot machine. If you're going to sit down and play. Anyway, I was just saying to Jay, <clears throat> or trying to say before I apparently muted myself, um, Jay, it's not about playing the slot machine. That's when you win. What I'm trying to explain is how to find a winning slot machine. And no casino will ever allow anyone to walk through the casino and pointing out the winning slot machines. I hope you understand that. Anyway, uh, sorry about the muting. I pound on the table too much. Wow, a lot of comments. Um, I'm going to see if I can. Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute, Paula. Paula muted me. <laughs> well, I tried to repeat. Um, uh, great. So, um, and thank you for the note about buffering. Sometimes that is uh, not me, and sometimes it is you. I did upgrade a couple months ago to the highest available uh, uh, broadband uh, here. Uh, so. Um, I do apologize if you're getting a bad message, uh, but the buffering should not be buffering the audio. It should only be buffering the video. So there's very little times when I'm uh, showing something on the screen that I want to express to you, uh, which might be blurry and kind of ruin that effect, but the audio is... Uh, um, Jay, how do you know which one is the winning slot machine? That's what, the, that's what all my content is about. And we're talking about two of them today, the five spin method, as well as, um, so that playlist that I put in the video description, watch that, particularly the third video, which will talk about position of the machine. This is all based on not having an attitude of luck-based winning, which is basically what everybody does, um, except people who follow my content. Um, uh, nobody can make you more lucky, so I'm not even trying. But the casinos have, um, and I'll get into this now uh, in a moment, um, casinos have uh, uh, a range, well, just keep listening. And, and I, I, I don't want to have to repeat myself uh, in a moment and have it all prepared for you. So um, uh, did I capture all three? Yes, I captured all three. Um, <laughs> D. Allen, um, uh, 
so uh, and yes there are some technical uh quality uh, video settings um i am broadcasting in 1080p i uh, up until about uh two months ago before that it was all 720p um and so you know if you're trying to get 1080p you should be able to get it but if you're trying to get 4k um you're not going to be able to get it so don't mean to get all technical uh this is so, some of the stuff you need to know if you have a youtube channel how all this works but you guys probably don't so uh, no worries all right um uh, right so uh I think I'm kind of caught up on the on the live chat. I didn't expect so much. Uh, that's that's that is wonderful. Um, and uh, thank you much, so much again for the donations. Uh, very much appreciated uh, and helpful. So when you purchase my course, Thirty Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win, uh, you and if you do that, you will see this page. Um, this is uh, uh, my landing page for professors at professorslots.com slash 30 days. Uh, if you purchase my course and uh, the green buttons that you see there are where you would uh, click to go to the very short landing page, which has what you will learn and my uh, curriculum uh, and what each day provides uh, and basically um, the course bonuses. But if you go back to um, this much longer landing page, which has got a lot of content in it um, and explaining the testimonials uh, and what each uh, uh, section with its days talks about, what you'll learn, um, and also kind of what follows. Uh, I have uh, created a paid community where people who are in the course, it's, that's not live. Uh, uh, in the paid in the in this course, the next one I'm putting together would be, um, but this one is not. And so, um, working alone is basically it's self-led. But if you uh, want to discuss some of the ideas, you need a place to do that, which would be better than my what is it, eighteen thousand member uh, professor slots enthusiast Facebook community. It's a lot of people just saying all kinds of stuff. But if you've taken the course and you have particular questions about my approach. Uh, approaches, strategies, then I created this Lots Enthusiast Growth Network. And we have weekly Zoom meetings where we're all there together and we talk through um, how to, some of the stuff I've seen here. Um, geez. Uh, um, and, uh, right, so... Do we have another one? Yes, thank you, Paula. Uh, when when you have a scammer uh, trying to put uh, stuff into a live stream, they have several accounts they work from. We just got another, um, uh, the same individual doing the same thing again. Um, uh, I apologize to everybody who's in the live stream. People who are watching this recording later won't see any of that because the live chat is not available um, uh, afterwards. Uh, again, my my apologies for this individual. Um, they're permanently being banned from ever seeing my channel again. Um, that's how we're, uh, Paul and I are getting rid of them. Paula's earning her salary uh, this time. Oh, do I give you a salary, Paula? Yeah, I should do that sometime. <laughs> They'll probably be back um, uh, later with their third account and, and more. So um, if you uh, go to professorslots.com slash 30 days, uh, you'll see a, a, a lengthy description of what I offer in that course, as well as um, uh, tasks. Uh, there's Each day has a lesson, video lesson, um, tasks for each of those video lessons. Lessons, uh, to help remember those lessons and links to supplemental in, uh, information from me and others. Uh, as, uh, and then there's also bonuses such as a lifetime access. Uh, I've already done one upgrade on this course uh, to um, uh, this current curriculum, uh, and I have another one planned. Uh, so I, um, I, my, my book, Learning to Win, is a PDF a bonus that's with this as are some spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping not just for income tax preparation purposes but also for gameplay analysis and you get one month free uh, access to my slots enthusiast growth network for community support with myself and other slots enthusiasts and our presentations and our learnings there um, uh, and this is available for you uh, at a 50 percent it's discounted at 50 percent off uh, and so you can visit professorslots.com slash 
30 days to get this, to learn more about um, a well-received course, including um, full description of its contents and testimonials. The link is in the video's description. Um, and let's get back to the content so we can uh, uh, get to, <laughs> uh, um, now we have the reaction coming in from the live chat for that, uh, that, that scammer, um, which, you know, it happens. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so let's get back to strategy seven, win, walk away, return later. So some of you in the live chat have picked up on which other strategy uh, I was talking about here besides strategy one, uh, the three, uh, three, the five spin method. So this one is win, walk away, return later. The one I made the most amount of money on in the shortest amount of time. Uh, it's my seventh winning slot strategy. Uh, and it's been my main mainstay with, with it. I've earned the most taxable jackpots. Um, as with other winning strategies, I cannot give you good luck. What I can provide is an edge by explaining the actions casinos get to choose from when setting up their system, their operating system of slot machines for their casino. Because this is my most used personal winning strategy, and if you've taken my course, you know why this is so important, I need to tell you what my gambling goals were at the time. Now, Nowadays, I want to help you. Back then, I also wanted to learn, but I also wanted to make a profit at slots and maximizing complimentary gifts. This winning strategy allowed me to accomplish all three of my goals. The third one was learning. Uh, I was learning while earning both a profit and players club reward points for all the best comps. To make take home money, I decided I needed taxable jackpots uh, from high limit slot machines. I needed to be able to cycle bankrolls to earn players rewards credits and thereby get free food, travel, events, and hand carry gifts. How is this possible? Because there's more than one kind of winning slot machine depending on your gambling goals. It's evident when a slot enthusiast wins a taxable jackpot. You watch for them. That's one of the tips that I have is, is watch for them to know if anybody else is winning but it's to get an idea of the status of the casino but it's not so obvious when a slots enthusiast is cycling their bankroll endlessly furthermore a series of jackpots under the $1200 limit taxable limit can go relatively unnoticed by most observers if the player immediately cancels the distinct sequence of lights and sounds from a jackpot roll up. You know that, right? Where they uh, the bing, 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 and count out the number of credits that are won. You could turn that off by pressing any button uh, and, uh, and and shortcut it. So if you're watching playing a video slot machine with a big screen and you want to know how the uh, counting up that takes forever uh, on a bonus round, you can press the button and many times that'll just go right to the end. Uh, and uh, uh, that that don't really have a strategy for that, but sometimes, uh, you know, I I would gather a crowd uh, uh, when I was playing and winning hand pays, but it wasn't always the best thing. It was kind of that happened when it was unavoidable. You know, you get seven in a night, and there you get other people who are yelling at you saying, "Are you done yet?" And as though my winning meant they wouldn't. Um, somehow people get these ideas. Uh, if I'm winning, then people are winning. So why don't you, you know, win too? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to stay focused here. Um, I always cancel the roll up so I won't draw attention to myself. I also dress down, um, even though sometimes I meet the general manager because they they come over and say, you're here and we want to talk to you. And, and I'm like, sorry for the sloppy look on me uh, during, you know, a wonderful dinner. So that can be hard. Uh, uh, it gets in the way of having a business, but it helps me just not have crowds, uh, which is what I prefer. Um, it never, <laughs> if I took my own advice and went with somebody, uh, who could like just watch my back. Uh, that's probably what I would do. But it, when I started doing all this originally, I was new in the area and didn't really have anybody I trusted. Only coworkers. <laughs> um, right. So uh, do you cancel your roll up? I, I know it's fun to let the lights and sounds play out and keep going longer for bigger wins. It's very gratifying in its way. But for me, it's wasted time. I prefer to be gambling while the playing was excellent. 
for you to use this winning strategy, you need to know your own gambling goals so you know what to look for. What does success at slots mean to you? If you want a profit, if you want taxable jackpots, uh, then you want a slot machine that provides them. If you wish for comps, then you need to earn comp points, which in turn means binding slot machines that cycle bankrolls, which is a different kind of winning. Now, there's also possible if you know, one of the things that happens as you learn each of my strategies well is that a natural thing that will start happening is just start combining strategies. Uh, and then you're trying to do two things at once. But I, I try not to talk about that until you learned one, two, three, four strategies. You have to know them individually before combining them begins to make sense. Otherwise, it gets to be a bit much and I don't want to talk over people's heads. So we talked lately we've been talking a lot about combining strategies uh in the slots enthusiast growth network and that's much of what the the topic of uh my next course which i don't even have a release date set for it might be 2022 if i make it that far because um you have to make enough money to be able to take time off from making videos on youtube to be able to accomplish all this so uh, i hope that in 2022 all of that comes together uh, maybe even uh, <laughs> hire start hiring people uh, to help take some of the load off um, but uh awesome uh, th and thank you paula for uh disengaging that individual wow okay so um high limit slot machines are not necessary to play when implementing this winning strategy not at all maybe you're a high limit slots player with a three thousand dollar bankroll but most likely you're not and that's okay i'm only mentioning high limit slots because that's what i played when i discovered the strategy how to implement uh, how to implement it so out of all my winning strategies i i learned this one first that's why i gave it lucky number seven i decided from the very beginning that of all my winning strategies i might learn this is the one i would give away for free so I did. And from uh, uh, this is all before YouTube got started um, and back when I was establishing my business. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> Turns out the five spin method is the one that's most far more popular. I don't know why half a million people have watched it. But in the beginning, uh, and it's only been out like a year, uh, but in the beginning when I asked, um, you know, when asked by others how I became a top tier status player, how I'd gotten that free comp, why I was on that cruise, and how was I winning so many jackpots during a single session, I would tell them exactly what I was doing as my best slot machine gambling advice at that time. Here it is. After winning a decent sized jackpot, whatever that means to you, go home. Go home, then come back one week later to play the exact same machine starting about five to 10 minutes before the time when you won that first jackpot. Now, again, this is learn one strategy, learn another strategy, learn another strategy before you start combining them. So you may have questions about, well, could I complicate all this? Just doing this one strategy, go home after winning, come back a week later. That's the focus. Now, uh, maybe you've already won for a specific winning slot machine. And for whatever reason, in fact, it exists that it is a that it's a wizard uh, winner. It's something we'll talk about shortly. But that time of day on that day of the week had a higher than usual odds of winning a jackpot. So play it again at that time on that day of the week as the reason it happened in the first instance may still be in effect. Again, this is not about being lucky. This is about the casino's set up. Be aware the strategy doesn't necessarily apply on days of special events, such as holidays or other special casino events. They have their own strategy. But the reason why it doesn't apply is because one week before wasn't a holiday. So this coming Thursday isn't Thanksgiving. And if you, want, if you saw a win on this coming Thursday, and you wanted to see if you could come back a week later, that would be Thanksgiving. And that means it's all different. The casino's got a plan that's different from every Thursday because it's Thanksgiving instead. So you can't assume that all the stuff that's going on in the background and the casino setup will apply on a Thanksgiving day the same way it did on the Thursday before or the Thursday after. Now, on Christmas Day, December 25th, one week later is New Year's Day. So it might apply then if you saw something on Christmas and you're like, well, a week from now is, oh, New Year's. 
And so you might be able to get that sort of a repeat. Otherwise, you know, watch out for those odd days that changes the whole crowd and the whole scene and everybody, you know, it's a day when everybody's got it off mostly. And, uh, and, and the week before, not so much. So, so these fundamental business conditions are changed. And so you watch out for that. But that doesn't happen a lot. I only mention it because it's coming. <laughs> We're coming upon that time. Uh, some people wait year round to take advantage of holidays. And we got a b bunch of holidays coming up. So, um, right. So uh, uh, it does apply. Um, this rule does apply uh, for holidays or one week apart, like I was just saying with Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Day uh, and Friday to Friday uh, with the same promotions. Uh, so, a good, good question. That, ask is why this strategy works at all. Um, and I'm going to have come back to the questions, getting a lot of uh, comments uh, that are not being blocked because it's a scammer talking about uh, stuff. Uh, but um, uh, I'll come back to that moment. I see all the activity from the corner of my eye. Uh, this, uh, uh, so um, a good question to ask is why this strategy works at all. And I've been throwing in tidbits here. Uh, as we know, casino operators have installed an operating system, which includes a central computer to remotely control the odds of winning on each slot machine. This operating system does a whole lot more than that. Um, it makes it so you're not running a slot tournament with a clipboard and a sheet of paper because that never worked out well. There was a few times when it wasn't a horrible experience. Have you been to those back in the day? You know, 10 years or more ago, we've been to a slot. Was any of them decent? It was like, this one didn't have a mistake, but every other one, and that was the best you could hope for. Nowadays, it's mostly running smoothly. And, and, and before it was like almost impossible to get it to run smoothly. So, you know, this sort of automation, is what was gained not to mention reduction in workforce for all the people who had to open up 3000 5000 where are you at 8000 slot machines I had to open them all up punch in a code they didn't know the meaning of which was adjusting the odds but because because they get sets of odds from the slot machine manufacturer all of which are legal within that that area we'll talk about that in a moment and um uh this 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 workforce reduction was very valuable to the casino. But more importantly, they were able to, with the uh, automating this process of updating the slot machines, they were able to hit their performance metrics, not every seven to 10 days, but every four hours or so, um, you know, uh, daily. And that was a big business reasons why they felt they had to not only get a central server, but get it as soon as possible. The whole country switched over in only like five years, a thousand casinos installed um, all they could installed central servers in just a few years. So that sort of change is driven by need, want by the casino that it's valuable to them. Every day they didn't have it, they were losing money that they would have made if they only had it. And that's the sort of technology innovation that I, I, in aerospace engineering, you know, if you found something that was going to help your business, uh, some piece of equipment, some piece of software that was to help you do your job, but it was only going to be a 2X improvement, it doubled your, uh, you have the time you had to spend doing something or uh, have the amount of money you had to spend to do something. We didn't worry about it. As engineers, we didn't care, but we saw something that was 10x improvement, 12x improvement, 12 times less time, you know, instead of an hour, six minutes. You know, that we were like, we can't not get that. It we, you know, it's not the same thing as a 2x improvement. It's a 10x, a 12x improvement. So this is what casinos provided as far as a um, received with with central computer servers. It, they were just like, we must have this. And I know that because every one of them switched. Everyone that could switched in an amazing amount of short time. So, okay. Uh, and now they're using it and let's take advantage of it. <laughs> we'll see if it turns out to be uh, if they understand what they've done to themselves. Uh, uh, but I need to get more popular, so get these ideas out there. Um, right. So uh, um, let's see. Many state 
gaming rigs have placed a lower limit on theoretical payouts. And yes, some of them have also added an upper limit at or near 100%. Pennsylvania comes to mind. Uh, but casinos are free to set their theoretical payout anywhere between those limits. This is some point that seems to be get missed by um, people who half know this stuff and, and, and think it's some sort of gaming red set the return. No, they set a range. And sometimes there's no upper range, which is winning. But people say, well, it's reasonable to assume that casinos will set it at the lower legal limit and would never set a machine over 100%. Really? Because if they made money at it, would they? If they had one machine at the entrance to the casino when you're on a, the strip where where that machine was, people were winning on it, do you think that other people who would go in that row of Dragon Link machines and not pick the one on the end that could be seen from a distance, but play the others because they're all the same, right? They're all set to be winners. No, the one on the end was to draw you in. So there are business plans, casino business plans, where they do this. And if you are, if you watch for it, it becomes really obvious. If you're, you know, not letting you, if you, you think it's all just luck based gaming, then you don't even look for that. And so you don't see it. And therefore, you pay the electric bill for the casino because you lose money. Um, anyway, I, I, I get on that sometimes. Um, a natural assumption is also that no machine will ever be set over 100%. And uh, blandly assume the casino will always, always, always set their machines at the lower legal limit. And if there is no lower legal limit, they return to 0%, right? You begin to see how this is not making sense. That a natural assumption is no way to run a business, and what is done is all right uh, because the phys you know is all right there in the in the physical data. So let's look at. Um, I have an Excel spreadsheet that I try to keep updated. Uh, for this is seventeen different states that have monthly return statistics. I haven't uh, done a few of them because it takes more computational effort, uh, and it's a lot of data, and I have to type it by hand and all that. But uh, and we have the white here is the gap for the pandemic. Sometimes they were closed for one month, two months, three months, uh, and I I still have to go back in time on Rhode Island. I haven't done Ohio at all. A uh, little bit. I just did one casino. Um, and Kentucky, I've, I did that recently for my latest article. New York is the most complicated one. Uh, class two machines at tribal casinos, class three machines at tribal casinos. Uh, uh, Seneca Nation has its own machines. Uh, and then you have the class three machines at casinos, and it's all very messy. Uh, and I have to put more time into that one. But this is my point. This is my proof that uh, casinos casino central servers um, exist and that casinos choose their output. These are the state averages for from beginning of 2019 through the pandemic and up until basically September. Uh, I need to keep adding to this. Uh, I get behind sometimes. But you can see this, this brown one up here, that is, um, uh, it is Nevada. And look, it's basically the best and up and down, up and down a little bit, but they right across the top, averaging around 93%. And you can see what happened. They dropped just before the pandemic. Oh, and, and then we have this other one, which was trying to get people to come back in. And what, what state is that? Uh, should hover over it and say, come on now, which one is that? Come on, light up. Um, I'm sorry if you have a a uh, small device and you're not on a desktop to see some of the detail here, but the one across the top is Nevada. The one across the bottom as this here is uh, Pennsylvania. They had a bit of a drop, uh, uh, um, lost a month here when they weren't open. And they basically running across the bottom. These other three states, one of them is uh, Kentucky is also across the bottom here. That is a choice by the casinos, collectively all the casinos within a state. And But if we want to look at each of these, uh, this is Florida. These are all the casinos in uh, Miami-Dade and uh, Broward County that are not tribal casinos. And you can see that consistently, Haia is across the top. Haia uh, is across the top. Uh, but then you have, uh, which one is this? Uh, Isle Pompano uh, consistently across the bottom. This is the casino choice. And no, notice that this is a, a spread of about three and a half percent 
That's what the difference between good and bad casinos are. 75% would be down by the floor in this room that I'm in uh, on my loft. So, you know, it's, it's, there's no 75%, there's no 85%. Uh, they know it's a bad business plan uh, to do that. Uh, Mississippi, uh, they're a little tightly packed uh, um, for this, for the regions. Uh, that's what we get from Mississippi. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, New Jersey. And of course that's Atlantic city. Uh, so these are the Atlantic city casinos and uh, Harris is up here at the top. And often, uh, very close to the bottom is which one? Um, ocean? Yeah. And so these things matter. As someone was saying earlier in the live uh, chat, um, you know, this you know, stuff matters. You may not have it, but um, if you look at some of these, you can understand that there is a difference. You can watch for that difference. You can look at some of these, six of these. Of, of these 18 have uh, returns by slot machine denomination. And you can see penny machines are always the worst. Uh, and, you know, that's uh, that's well worth knowing, even in states that don't have return statistics, because every, everyone that reports it has it. Uh, you can bet that your state is, is the same way. Now, um, uh, this dark line is my the, uh, Hollywood Lawrenceburg in Indiana. Uh, the state average is about 90%. Uh, here, which is on the other end uh, from, uh, it's close to like Kentucky overall, um, and it's on the other end from Nevada, which is one of the better. But within the state, you've got um, uh, this uh, French Lick resort, which is up around 91.5%, and when the state average is down here around 90%, uh, and where a lot of the casinos run. So, you know, this is I, I could go on with Massachusetts, uh, Pennsylvania. It's got its uh, little spread, and you can see some of the, you know, somebody was asking earlier about is casinos going to stay open long term, years? Uh, and you begin to see like the smoothness before the pandemic, and then you get some of this roughness after the pandemic. And that roughness is a sign of financial trouble. But a lot of these casinos are steady on. So uh, this sort of thing can give you an idea of, you know, month to month, how the casino might be doing financially uh, at a kind of a high level. And, you know, when they're just like, we got to make money because we have to survive this month or no, we have to, you know, give money back in order to get people to come back in because they're not coming in. You can see that behavior uh, in, in this post. So I'll keep uh, bringing these out. Um, we had a couple of ex uh, extraordinary things happening in Shreveport and Lake Charles uh, in two different months. I should take those out. Um, and so you begin to see the spread. Um, and uh, Lake Charles here, uh, the last data that I have, uh, really uh, had a better return for everybody. So, um, okay. Uh, let's see where I'm at. Um, so I, uh, so your job is to, if you're going to use this strategy seven when walk away return later, is to find out what are the good times and days uh, for winning with improved odds of winning for slot machines. If you get taxable jackpots and a lot of them, it's all right there. Off there's a spot on the W2G that says what time, what day, what time, and sometimes they don't use the time, but. Maybe you remember, and that's the sort of thing you would want to record. But it's also, you know, if you have a $100, um, you're not playing high limit slots and you have a $100 bankroll, well, you know, that's fine. Uh, hey, you just won 100 bucks on that machine. And look, I did it again. Hey, I went ahead, went home with $300 and arrived with $100. Wonderful. What machine was that? Going to be available one week from now? You know, from one week later, 10 minutes earlier, play the same machine? Hey, you know, you want a profit or not. It, it works for high limit, but it's a little more obvious and it works for low limit. And you might only be able to look at your own gameplay on that because it's a little hard to tell, particularly if somebody, you know, turns off uh, the, um, um, the roll up. Uh, and it's hard to tell from other people, but you know, if you want to come in a high limit, it doesn't have to be your jackpot, your hand pay. You can see somebody else's hand pay and try it one week later. Um, and if they watch my stuff, they'll be there. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, you know, and also watch out for those uh, bankroll cycling because that's on the same schedule. 
So there is a, a disadvantage is, you know, this is harder for me to show in my trip reports because I don't come back a week later on my trip reports. I go to, a, you know, Pennsylvania uh, and, um, you know, I'm there for a day and then I leave and I'm not back a week later to check to see if this worked. So it's a little hard for me to tell you which casinos have this um, because it's more than a single visit. Let's see. Um, and we are at uh, close to being done. I haven't looked at nearly enough of the comments, um, but to learn more about my 30 days to play slots smarter and win online course currently at 50% off $400 savings, visit my website at uh, professorslots.com slash 30 days for a complete description, testimonials, and uh, the list of valuable bonuses you'll get free with the course, including lifetime access, one month free access to my new Slots Enthusiast Growth Network support community, free P PDF of my book, Learning to Win, which describes a lot of this early history and what I learned and uh, how I described those winning uh, strategies at that time. Uh, and before all the questions I've gotten on uh, live stream on, on YouTube, which, you know, if you watch my videos, make sure you take a look at the comments. Uh, there's a lot of good content. I try to respond to everybody and, and give information that might help expand on some section of that video. Uh, you also get the gambling spreadsheet. So my 30 days to play slots smarter and win online course for slots enthusiasts explains how to win at slot machine casino gambling. There's a lot more to winning than tips and tricks, which are here, gone, here today and gone tomorrow. I mean, just think about how it was before the pandemic versus after the pandemic. So, um, Yes, uh, uh, you need a strategy, you need a plan, and this is where you can get that. And I go over my nine winning slot strategies. But before that comes all this educational foundation work so you understand what you're looking to do and at, the questions I ask and um, help you work through is what is your goal? I've met plenty of people who are like, I'm here to make money. And I've gone with them to the casino and they weren't there to make money. They just didn't realize it. They uh, They were kind of like, you know, take a moment and be honest with yourself. What it is that you want from this? Uh, because you, you don't know what you want. How will you know when you get it? So we go over all this and more in 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win at ProfessorSlots.com slash 30 days. Whatever your decision, enjoy moving forward along your slots journey instead of being stuck in one spot, maybe regretting losing your bankroll so often. Most first-time winners have no idea how to preserve their gains. So that's so important because no matter how much you win, you can easily end up spending it all and getting it later. So I'm going to see if I could take a few questions, but I'm already two months. It's over. Um, uh, yep. Uh, lots of good points uh, on what how people are using some of this. Uh, I had live streams long enough. Um, uh, what is the attendance at the casinos, Collins Gang? Uh, that's a fascinating topic. You have the uh, Las Vegas Visitors Bureau that tells how many people come during the weekends and how many. It's basically based on hotel stays. Otherwise, that information is very hard to get. It's hard to get good numbers. I had to research all this for my book proposal uh, and find out what was out there. And there's some one survey from the 90s that talks about, you know, what that number is. It's just not available, but that's okay. We can work around. This is what I learned as an engineer is in working in statistics is we can work around that. We can get hints and understandings. It's how you use statistics. I don't know what that number is. I wish I did. Um, and I could go on about this. It's actually a fascinating topic. Uh, all right. Um, uh, Okay, uh, lots of back and forth, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to let everybody go. Um, thank you so much for being here at the live stream. We'll, I'll see you next weekend. Um, and what was I going to talk about next weekend? I was going to talk about perception versus reality, and um, you know, being the casino, not telling you lies, but misleading you as to what works. They are not the ones giving you an education. It's to their benefit for you not to have an education. And I'll talk about some of the things that are misleading you on. So that'll be next week's live stream. Uh, everybody, please uh, have fun, take care, and I will talk to you later.